Friends and family, we are gathered here on this beautiful day in this beautiful place to witness and join together Lauren Cook and Devin Hamilton in holy matrimony, which is to be commended and honorable among all men, and therefore is not to be entered into lightly, but reverently and solemnly. Into this holy estate, these two now come to be joined. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Leslie, and I'm Lauren's older sister. And I'm so happy to be here today to watch Lauren marry the love of her life, Devin. Lauren, I'm so proud of you and the person that you've become, and I can't wait to see what you do next with your amazing partner by your side. And Devin, as an older sister, I couldn't have asked for anyone better than you. You've far exceeded anything I ever could have hoped for from Lauren. Lauren, as I sit down to write this letter, I can't help but think about the last two years of my life. They have been the happiest years of my life by far, and I know that it's because of you. Dear Devin, my almost husband, today marks two years and nine months that I've loved you. Of the many moments we've shared, today will be my favorite. Today I feel confident, at ease, humble, and lucky to call you my husband. Oh, all the way around. such a special day, and I want to appreciate every moment of it. We are so loved by our friends and family, and I want you to cherish that fact. I am so lucky to have you in my life, and I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I promise to spend the rest of my life committed to making you happy. See you soon at the altar. Devin, people say that our journey starts today on our big day. I think it's maturing, but it doesn't start today. It started on a dinner date. It began at a rock concert when I told you I liked you. It started when you got down on one knee and asked me to spend the rest of our life together. As I sit here before you, I want you to know that I am not just marrying you, but I am also a accepting your family as my own. I promise to love them, to always be there for them, just as I will always be there for you. You are everything I dreamed of and nothing I expected. I promise to bring you positivity and laughter. I promise to listen and always support you. I love you, Devin. I love the man that you are, and I always will. <laughs> Together we'll face whatever life throws our way. I vow to love you, to cherish you, and to honor you for all the days of my life. I can't wait to start this new chapter of our lives together as husband and wife. I love you. Love you. <laughs> Do you, Devin, take Lauren to be your wife, to have and to hold for better, for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health? to love and to cherish from this day forward till death do you part. Yes, I will. 
Miss Lauren, do you now take Devin, who, whose hands you hold, to be your husband, to have and to hold for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward till death do you part? Yes. All right. Lauren and Devin, now that you have agreed together to join each other in the holy state of matrimony, therefore by the authority vested in me, first as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and secondly by the laws of this great state of Texas, I do declare that you are now husband and wife. Devin, you may kiss your bride. Devin and Lauren, I love you both. I'm really excited to be here. I'm really honored to be here celebrating y'all's marriage. So today as we raise our glasses, I want to take a quick pause. I do have a surprise. <laughs> Don't rem just remember it's an acquired taste. It's warm Jose Cuervo. It's been in my rear pocket all day. Getting it to the right temperature. Here you go. Cheers to Devin and Lauren. I wish all the best. <laughs>